ISL NC K2 5G analyzers by PAC determine the loss of evaporation of fuels and lubricating oils by NOAC method according to CECL 4093B standards and its analogs. Designed to deliver accurate and reliable results without trading off productivity, its high level of automation ensures continuous operation, ease of use, and maximal safety and quality compliance for operators. This video provides step-by-step -step guidance on how to operate the ISL NOAC analyzers. At any time, you can refer to the user manual for further details and advanced use. Check that the glassware components are clean and correctly assembled, and any residual material in the bottles and filter from previous tests should be below the maximal level mark. All connections with caps must be sealed tightly, and the sample temperature probe clean. If needed, use a soft tissue. Make sure the analyzer is installed in a vibration and draft-free area. All fumes from the evaporating specimen should be exhausted to the external ventilation system through the silicon pipe. Before starting the test, check all the parts of the test cup and its accessories. If needed, use the appropriate solvents to thoroughly clean and dry them. Pay particular attention when checking both the crucible and cover. These parts must be free from clogged lacquer or residual material. To perform verification, run the ball bearing through the extraction tube and pass the reamer through each of the three nozzles of the crucible cover. Once the verification procedure is complete, set the balance by weighing the empty crucible without its cover. Then pour the test sample into the crucible at the nearest precision requested. Screw the crucible cover tightly using the clamp and the spanner. During this step, make sure the sample liquid does not splash on the inside part of the cover. Introduce the crucible into the analyzer. Note that it is possible to perform a test either with a cold or hot heating block. If hot, ensure the test starts as soon as the crucible is installed. Connect the sample temperature probe and secure the extraction tube connection to the arm of the glass Y piece with the clamping device. The analyzer is ready to operate. Set up the test method as well as key parameters such as sample ID, initial weight, operator name, then press the run button to start the test. The whole test lasts about 53 minutes. A buzz alert will sound three minutes before the end of the test. Turn it off and prepare the cooling bath by filling it with room temperature water at a minimum depth of 30 millimeters. The end of the test is notified by a buzz alarm. The analyzer automatically stops the heating. Turn off the alarm and untighten as soon as possible the clamping device to disconnect the extracting tube and remove the crucible from the analyzer with care to avoid any sample liquid splashing out. Place the crucible with the temperature probe in the cooling bath. Remove the probe and let the crucible cool down at least 30 minutes. Remove the crucible from the bath and dry it with a soft tissue. Use the clamp and spanner to unscrew the cover. Handle this step with care to make sure the sample liquid does not splash on the inside part of the cover. Weigh the crucible without the cover, then input the displayed value as the final weight of the sample in the analyzer. The analyzer automatically calculates the loss of evaporation. Check on the printed report that both the sample temperature and pressure curves stayed within the defined limits during the whole test to validate the result. ISL NOAC Analyzers, the state-of-the-art lab solution by PAC, is for accurate and safe loss evaporation testing. 
three decades of technology, expertise, and user focus that you can rely on. Visit our website, www.paclp.com, for the latest product updates or to contact one of our experts.